Live. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Can you guys hear that that intro music? Because ne- uh, we can't. Mm, and I've we never heard it before. Too. Welcome back to <laughs> Pop Culture's Week in Review. My name is Sandy. This is Bianca over here. We've got Luke on the technology things and Blake behind the camera. It's been a little while since I've done one of these. A lot of things have changed. We've stepped into the modern age, got a lot of equipment, we've got microphones. I don't know, this, when I was on, it was very analog. Uh, but uh, we're here, we're ready to talk about all the awesome things that have come in. Uh, we've got some awesome prizes to give away. Bianca, we what sure are do. they? We have this Mirabelle cosplay backpack, which is super cool. Look, Ooh, look, look. Tassels. Tassels, tassels. Yes. Embroidery. Zipper charm. So, so cool. Mm. We are also going to give away this Aussie Osborne pop right, right in the top there, right in the middle there. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one right there. We're giving that one away. And there's going to be another the, prize There's going to be a well, couple of other little prizes <laughs> we're going to uh, think up on the spot towards the end of the show. Yay. In order to <laughs> win those, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, that things haven't changed that much, but you comment below, give us your thoughts, give us your highlights of the week. What, what, have, what have you liked? Uh, pop culture related, even the stuff that you've seen in stock. Uh, and then you might go onto our spin, spinning wheel. That's that's Luke. Luke over there. Do you still write or does that get like... Yeah, is yeah. It like- so basically, just get my attention somehow. Yeah. It can be whatever you want, but keep it clean. And... No, uh, tell us who you'd smash. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, no. Wonder Woman, <laughs> classic choice. <laughs> Bruno? Oh, I mean, spicy. <laughs> Uh, get my attention. Maybe you go in the running. Maybe I put your name on the wheel and you could win one of these fantastic prizes. Mm. So stay tuned for the whole episode because we spin that wheel at the end of the show. Uh, we may as well get right into it. Bianca, I think we should start off with some Funko to get us going. Absolutely. And I'm going to just say let's start right at the bottom here with some sodas because Across the Spider-Verse has just come out and I've seen it and it's absolutely amazing. You all need to see it. It is so, so good. So we've got pretty much the entire soda range here of the Across the Spider-Verse um, ones that Funko have done. So we've got Spider-Man 2099, we've got Miles Morales Spider-Man, we've got Spider-Gwen, who is just the best. Anyway, we have Spider-Punk, we've got Miles Morales uh, in his casual, if I can speak properly. We have Miles Morales in this translucent kind of effect. And we have The Spot, who what becomes is, very yeah, interesting in that film. What's spot? the go with The Spot? I... Uh, it's hard um, to you say much know. about him <laughs> without giving All too I'm much away. All I'm thinking about is this, this is some kind of imposter from Spot the Dog. Uh, <laughs> and meh, this is... I'm just getting a lot of Rorschach from him. Yeah, or there's a character in Batman Beyond that's like called Ink. Uh, it looks very inky. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. this... No, he's I'm, very, very cool though. Like, has this becomes, movie, so like, this movie's come out. It has. It's oh. literally just come out yesterday. Oh, it's cool. all very exciting. But yeah, he takes on a very interesting role in the film. Mm. And um, yeah, without giving too much away, he does have like, because you can see this in the, the trailers and everything, he has spots where he can like put limbs and other things through. The character called Spot has oh, spots. So yes. he's like portal powers. Kind of, yeah. Ah, yeah. That's cool. So right. we're still getting to know all these powers and everything. But Quickly, before basically... we move on, is it better than the first one? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's hard to pick. They're both amazing. Uh, a lot of people are calling this like the best Spider-Man movie ever, though. And look, I understand why people have such big opinions. Like, it is so good. What about the amazing Spider-Man 2? That was pretty good. Yeah. That was good. Rest, rest in peace, Amazon. Oh, true. Yeah. Rip, baby girl. Yeah, rip. All right. Smash. What else we got? We have um, this deluxe Hades on Throne Pop. This is pretty cool. Just, you know, uh, Hades in his element being awesome on a very cool looking throne there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of the Disney Villains um, deluxe kind of throne range there. We also have these giant <laughs> movie poster pops. Wrong. Starting from the top. Oh, <laughs> started from the stop. We'll, we'll Sing, get to something it. from Lady in the Tramp. So, Lady in the Tramp. Sam, well, <laughs> <laughs> I believe Sandy may have already played his role. Uh, <laughs> and it's a little bit of role playing too to do with this pop. Oh, what? Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's just say there might have been a shared yellow snake between two old, old dogs. 
on if you head on to our uh, um, Instagram stories you might be treated oh, to a little uh, a little picture of Ooh. Sandy sharing yeah. a lovely yellow snake with yeah. an old friend yeah who, who, did, who did it better it's a bit cute. I thought it was I a like gross, it. No. like, a something euphemism? you and your Metaphor? girlfriend did. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a bit cute. Uh, check out our stories. It'll be up for less than 24 hours now, so make sure you catch it before it goes away. But, yeah, movie poster pop. Uh, Lady and the Tramp in the middle there, accompanied by a movie poster, which is all vintage looking and super, super cool. They're, they're a lot bigger than normal pops, and it makes me uncomfortable. Mm. You don't the, like the, the larger actual, scale? No, the actual pop. They're bigger. Yeah. It is more of a deluxe wait, kind wait of Wait until we get to scale. the Indiana Jones. He unsettles me. <laughs> Speaking mm. of which, Indiana Jones. Smash. <laughs> 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 so oh, that's the Lost Ark movie poster. Stop, I can't look at it. Um, um, it is quite <laughs> yeah, it's, like the, it's like the billowing shirt just Honestly, opened. Honestly, like the they right? put crack in that man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I don't think boy. he would look like that. <laughs> boy, boy. Oof. Yeah, m- movie poster pop. Yay, very it's good. Cool. I like it. It's like a six inch pop uh, as opposed to normal normal size pop. Yeah, really. It That's is really what it cool. kind of looks like to me. But Indiana Jones is not, not that big. Um, uh, but he is. Uh, anyway. <laughs> All right, moving on. Cool. <laughs> we have, we have um, some more pops from Netflix's The Witcher. We have a two pack of Geralt and Vesemir, which is epic. We also have a glow-in-the-dark Geralt and just a standard Geralt as well because we, we the, need all the Geralts. Where's it's our, important. Where's our oh, magic shiny mate. thing? God, UV thing. torch incoming. Hold Where are on. we? Sorry, like everyone it. at home. Here we go. Oh, that one glows. Oh. I think it's just a sword. Up the top? Yeah, it's just the sword that just glows. The, oh, I can't even, Oh, there it is. Hey, look, I while, while we're here, Hello Kitty glows. I don't think she's meant to. Oh. Yeah, I don't think she's oh, meant that, to. I think she just pops looks, on oh, the black light. Like Any, anything that's white will reflect UVs. Yeah. Ooh, their eyes. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. 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 Sandy's Fancy. first time with a UV torch, everybody. Oh. Let's do the whole... Oh, no, let's not do the stuff. rest of everything. Look at that. <laughs> look at all that. That's cool. Look all right, we need these lights back on. No, this is fun. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I want to do the rest of the show like that. I mean, sure. Mm. <laughs> uh, we also have Siri, like training and everything, which is awesome. Um, we also have Cinema Roll, and it's got a kind of a mushroom theme to this. There's like three mm. pops in the Cinemarole. collection, including that Hello Kitty up That's there. She's got little on. mushroom <laughs> shorts on. It's super cute. Who organised this pile of pops? Yeah. <laughs> it's all over the place. Yeah. Hey, shh. Without Andy here, things go in. Well, a little bit of chaos. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. We Organized also have chaos. Ozzy Osbourne, so one of the prizes for the week, just Ozzy being Ozzy and being amazing. Ozzy Yay. Ozzy. We Ozzy. also have this person from Host Club. I'm Harry. not even going to try and say it. Harry? Yes, you have to. That's part of the show. Harry. I don't know. Jess <laughs> would be rolling in her grave. Harry. I'm Ninja sorry, Harry. Jess. <laughs> We have Cindy Lauper too. Yay! Girls just want to have fun. And also to finish off Funko, we have a whole bunch of pops from the upcoming, um, what is it? Rise of the Beast, that's right. Um, so we've got Rhinox, which is sick. pretty cool. Yeah. I know nothing about them, but it looks pretty sick. Got Optimus Prime, of course. Yeah. Bumblebee. We've got Mirage. We've got Optimus Prime. Hey, fun fact about Mirage. Guess, who, okay. guess who voices him? Um, I don't know, Chris Pratt? Nah, nah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's a good guess. That was, that's a solid guess. Um, oh, now I'm forgetting. Oh, this is um, you know, Who used to date Kim Kardashian? Um, and he's... It's, Ray J? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. The, From the, the tape? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who else anyway, we got? <laughs> from SNL. Um, uh, oh, Pete Davidson. Yeah, gross. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. Really? <laughs> right, oh, I, like, I like that one on the bottom there. Optimus Primal. Yeah. yeah. Optimus Primal is sick, right? Uh, it's words play. And we've got uh, Scourge. 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 Yeah. Scourge. Scourge. And Arcee. I don't mind like that one. Why does it have a human face? Arcee. It is a bit unsettling. They're trying to, I get, they've always tried to make her look a bit more mm. like feminine by, mm. yeah. Yep. 
fun. She uh-huh. was unsettling. Yeah, I look forward anyway. to this. Rise of the Beast. Yeah. You know, integrate some Beast Wars in there. Is it like the same world as the Shia LaBeouf ones? Uh, I don't even know. I think this is the same one as the um, Hayley Steinfeld one. Bumblebee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they rebooted it. Classic. Well, studios love a good reboot. They do. Uh, sticking with Rise of the Beast, we've got some Jada die-cast metal vehicles. Uh, all of uh, the Transformers in their car or vehicle modes are Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, uh, Wheeljack. What the hell? Combi Wheeljack? Yeah, I know. I've never seen Wheeljack like that. Mm. Uh, and then, again, in, uh, in 124th scale, and you get a nice little... Uh, Autobot badge there, which Ooh, is pretty cool. Oh. I like that. Uh, that would make a sweet belt buckle. Oh. Yeah, I've <laughs> seen those in years gone by. I'm always very tempted. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Anyway, continuing. <laughs> uh, we've got a whole heap of action figures. Uh, we'll start with some Mattel from Masters of the Universe. Uh, in seven inch scale, we've got the Masterverse action figures. Uh, so there's a 40th anniversary He-Man on the left, kind of a, a classic He-Man, but in more modern posing Ooh. and uh, a really, really awesome, super articulated kind of. Blake, uh, seven smash. Inch it's too obvious. <laughs> What's with the um, 40 <laughs> stickers? Is it like 40 years of Masters of the Universe? Yeah, so 40 oh. years of Master of the Universe. Um, and yeah, really awesome. I actually think it could have been last year. Um, but it's just taking a little while for us to get our stock. Uh, <laughs> the other two are New Eternia, so it's kind of a, uh, a way of showing off characters as an alternate kind of look, um, kind of a different, yeah, a different take of them. Uh, what could have been, so Stratos and Zodiac there. Pretty um, sweet uh, lineup of accessories with them you get too. Yeah, I really like these. I think they're an awesome way if you have a, a great sense of nostalgia with Masters of the Universe, but um, you want something new or something with a little bit more posability, I think you can't really go mm. wrong. There's a whole heap of range. These They've been making these for the last uh, three years or so since the Revelation uh, TV yep. animated series came out. Uh, and there's some great, great uh, figures you can get. If you're not really into the modern look of these action figures, don't worry, there's Master Universe Origins figures. So these Hell classic- yeah. Oh yeah. Thank God. Hell <laughs> yeah. 5.5 inch action figures. <laughs> yeah, Snout Spout is incredible. So he, um, I was checking out the back sick. of that packet yeah. earlier. That's yeah. awesome. You can like actually suck up water with his what? snout and spit it out. out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so good. Yes. Right? Yeah. So yes. Cool. Um, Yeah, these are really awesome. We've only got a couple uh, of limited stock of Snout Spout. Uh, the other get ones. Them, are, guys. Yeah, go, yeah. Go get them, guys. Yeah, go get them into your spout quick. Yep. <laughs> Some other Master of the Universe. Uh, you've got Roboto, uh, classic characters. Character. <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, good one, Luke. Uh, <laughs> awesome translucent chest there with uh, some inner mechanics going on there. Different alternate look for him. Uh, got a couple of other uh, Snake Armor, Skeletor, Tongue Lashor. Uh, this one's another cool one. It's got a uh, you got a little tongue that you can. Uh, Where am I looking? You can know, <laughs> lash at people. You attach the tongue, and then you know, it looks like that. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then you've got Hypno there from Rulers of uh, Rulers of the Sun, Sun Man. But cool. some awesome uh, Master Universe action figures. Yeah, very cool. To Hasbro and Marvel Legends, Bianca. Yeah. We've got a whole bunch of um, Guardians of the Galaxy figures here. Um, really, really cool. So we have, I may be saying this wrong, Kraglin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, see him a bit better on the back there. Um, of course, we can't show you the actual figures because of Hasbro's new, uh, you know, recycle environmental friendly packaging. They're changing that though, them. right? Mm, they are they? Are. Yep. Yeah, going back to um, windowed boxes. Oh. Yep. So you should uh, see new product announcements. The plastic uh, has won. Yes, yes. yes. next year. Plastic so they, they will be going with recycled PET uh, windows or PET. P-E-T, I think that's what they're called. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't think they're recycling people's pets. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, P-E-T plastic, yeah, that's what he's talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about Adam Warlock now. <laughs> Adam Warlock, yay. 
Um, now these are also part of a builder figure line, by the way. So you can build Marvel's Cosmo, as you see on the back there. Oh. So, so to get Cosmo, yes. you need to collect all of these that we're talking about right now. Uh, we've also got Drax. We have a powerful Drax. I can't see the him. Where is it? from wrestling. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> we've also got Nebula as well. And, and we've got Rocket being awesome. As always, he comes with the body of Cosmo. As and always? As always. <laughs> and we have Marvel's Mantis mm. as well. Uh, you, yeah. you do need another figure, I'm pretty sure, to build Cosmo, which we don't have here, and it's yes. Star Lord. Whoops. Um, yes, we, we... it came in a lot earlier, so yeah, um, he's already that's why here. He's already been shown off. <laughs> I hope you got <laughs> it. All your dogs. So not... you need all of them Finished. plus Star Lord <laughs> <laughs> to build Cosmo. So, and you can't not have a doggo <laughs> in your collection. Come on, you have to get them all. That's right. That's right. Uh, we'll finish off some Hasbro with these awesome Star Wars Kenner three and three quarter vintage collection action figures. That's a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> in classic uh, scale to the original Kenner action figures but with modern posability and articulation. Uh, these are the best of both worlds uh, for what you can get. Uh, Nowadays, uh, you've got a whole uh, slew of action figures. You've got a clone trooper phase two armor from Andor, Admiral Piet, you know, that critical character in the plot. Love Admiral Piet. Uh, R2-D2 <laughs> with a cool little uh, pronunciation on how you, the syllables, I suppose. D2. Uh, Imperial Phoenix. Gunner, Luke's favorite character of yes. Empire Strikes Back. Uh, Starsh, Starsh Man, Bespin Security Guard. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nameless. <laughs> Bespin Security Guard. Well, what's, that, what's that in the brackets? How could that oh, mustache? Yeah. Hider Spinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does, yeah. does he have a name? Yeah. yeah. What yeah. does that say, Blake? I can't see. Mm. Oh, gosh. Somebody in mean... the comments tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Hunter from the Bad Batch uh, and a much anticipated uh, figure of uh, Star Killer from uh, one of the Star Wars The Force Unleashed video games. Ooh. Um, so, yeah, very, very cool there. We've got some Super 7 again in uh, three and three quarter uh, scale. Uh, Light, yeah, I really like this film. Um, it's so good, yeah, right? Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Uh, a lot Word of people up. didn't, uh, I think, because they Silly. wanted Toy Story 5. It. It's you really seen it? good, play. It's watch really it. good. It's so you'll good. Wanna watch, you'll want to buy all the socks uh, merchandise <laughs> oh, uh, it's as important. soon as you see it. Okay. And it may make you want to try eating an inside out sandwich. Just saying. Yeah. I don't know what that. Yeah, yeah, you got to watch fun. it. <laughs> yeah, you got to um, watch it, then you'll know. Okay. It. <laughs> but really awesome, really interesting take. Um, Anyway, it, it's too long to explain, but awesome. You can check out those, uh, check out those action figures uh, on the website as well as other Lightyear merch. Now, people are screaming out for a bit of lounge fly action. Oh, lounge fly? Yeah, they want to use the lounge fly. Are we, are we do doing we it? finish action Screams. figures or do we just Screams. lounge fly? Oh, my yeah, ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One screaming. person said, where's the lounge fly? <laughs> yeah, it's because it gets hidden. It gets down. hidden underneath the table. <laughs> It does. Oh, so we break it up. We've got a lot of yeah. figures there. We do. All right, yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, here's all the lounge fly. Please appreciate my, my circle. I was very uh, I was very pleased with this and how it came out. So anyway, um, let's start off with Throw it. this. Throw it. I don't It'll want... bounce back. <laughs> it will. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, I really want you to do it now. I don't want to. It'll be so funny. I'll, I'll just wear it. Look. Yeah. Look I don't know because he's got the camera. Maybe not. But throw yeah. it at me. Throw it at me. Throw it at me. Throw it at me. Like wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't it expect did come to back. throw it back. It did come back. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Captain America Shield backpack. This. <laughs> this is super cool. Oh, we have fun. <laughs> Yay. Uh oh. Uh, anyway, uh, that fine. was already there. <laughs> <laughs> no, this will be good. You'll be able to wipe this off. Like any um, lounge fly bag mm. that gets a little bit dirty or stuff, you wipe. can oh. just wipe it clean. Um, that's the really good thing about the faux leather that they use. It's super easy to clean. Anyway, <laughs> Captain America's Vibranium Shield backpack. This is super cool. It's all glittery. We've got mm. applique bringing up all the layers. And, of course, it's almost life size scale. I it's do like, like 17 the, inches all around. Like the, it's the glitter, really cool. The glitter is nice. 
Yeah. Mm, make, shiny. Makes it all sparkly. Mm. Shine mm. like a superhero. Yay. Mm, shiny. But this is this is really cool. And Loungefly do not do big bags like this very often. So if you're into Captain America and you've always wanted a bag like this, then you're going to have to get on this pretty quickly. Uh, next up in superheroes, we've got this Hulkbuster mini backpack. Now, this is really cool because it does light up. Ooh. Mm. Where's the lights? Light up eyes. Sandy, hit the light. Oh. Hit the lights. <laughs> oh. There it is. So this light is pretty cool. in all its glory. <laughs> so have you ever felt the need to have a Hulkbuster mini backpack? I have. This is for you, Blake. They yeah. made this just for you. Yes. Loungefly were like, Blake needs this. Thank you, they just, they just knew and they made this for you. We will <laughs> speak about Bruno. <laughs> what if she doesn't grab that one deck? I wasn't actually going <laughs> and to. And you just made a fool of yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, this is what I was going to do next because this is our last superhero <laughs> bag for the week. Um, so we have this really cool Wonder Woman backpack because based on the DCEU Wonder Woman. Um, we've got applique, we've got debossing, so it has a real fun texture on here. Ooh. And we have a cool little zipper charm. Mm. As well, showing off nice. the uh, Wonder Woman wonderful. logo. Yeah, it is a very <laughs> wonderful bag. Now we're going to talk about... I don't want to. Hey, <laughs> careful. <laughs> so we have this really cool um, Bruno cosplay backpack that's just come in. He even comes with these little ratty friends. Isn't that cute? I love that. And we've got um, a zipper charm here. And it's all made to oh, look like what? his... I forget. I think it's... Uh, it looks like a Slater. <laughs> is that like a symbol he draws? Or something? It's been it's been what? so long Don't since I maybe a poop. It could be <laughs> a, not a poop. It's potentially a poop. It's it could be a, a slater. Or <laughs> a sl have you ever seen a slater? Yeah, before? it's a brown slater. I feel ashamed. No, no, no. <laughs> I feel ashamed. I love this movie from? and I can never remember <laughs> off the top of my head what that is. But it's there. Yay. <laughs> We also have um, fringe faux leather detailing down here, which nice. is pretty cool to like mm. make up his poncho and everything. Mm. And we have a little mm. back hit here. It's all shiny. There's the shiny. man. And there's the swirly thing. Yay. Oh, and there's got, his ratties. Got a okay. gold slater. A couple of gold slaters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they might be a millipede. Do you mean a millipede? <laughs> what? Do you mean a millipede? No, I'm talking about a slater. You know what a slider yeah, is. The, yeah, the roly poly little yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a golden does. slider. But that looks more like a millipede <laughs> when they curl up. Have you seen a slider? Have you seen a millipede? Maybe, <laughs> are you looking at maybe profile sandy from the side? Like, <laughs> anyway, anyway, I know anyway what I mean. we can Last talk on and on about bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing about Bruno, he does glow in the dark. Hit the light. Oh. <laughs> 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 we so have to talk what? about Bruno glowing in the dark. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Nice, right? Very, ah, very cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's Super cool. neat little nice. touch there. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, next up, we have Mirabelle. Yay. Hey, we're keeping one of these away. We are. So this is one of the prizes for the week. This is so cool. There's so mm. much detail. They've really brought her outfit to life. <coughs> Lovely applique of her face and embroidery all throughout and everything. Oh, I just We've noticed got a zipper a charm butterfly. of butterfly. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's So that's important. the zipper that's charm good. in there. We've got tassels making up her dress yeah, and everything the, too. The <laughs> and we've also got these straps that are just all um, inspired by her outfit as well. And it's got Mirabelle mm. on the back. This that would is be really annoying for her to write. Like who, in different colors. Yeah, like yeah. who writes a signature <laughs> in three different pens? I mean, that join. <laughs> True, there's that's no, insane. There's no, yeah. <laughs> and then that one as well. Makes no Maybe sense. You know those pencils that have like the different colors in the lead? That you you're crazy. You're saying oh. you're switching color midstream? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like the lead changes. Got... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ooh. If that's what she did on this bag. But also it looks too, <laughs> it looks too nice. Yeah, there's, there's no transition, there's... right? It's harsh. Yeah, yeah. she photoshopped that. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> anyway, on you, Mirabelle. Mirabelle, yay. <laughs> All right, moving on. We have this really cool all over print backpack of the Muppets. <laughs> Oof. Many Muppets, Miss Piggy, Kermit, the animal. Beaker. They're all, they're all there. You're um, a fan of Beaker? Oh, who's that? Uh, I feel like Luke would know. Who's Bunsen? That's Bunsen. 
Yeah, he's like he's like Beaker's like yeah. Beaker's his he assistant, is, I think. Yeah, he's yeah. like Bunsen. Bunsen. I think Bunsen's always yelling at him, isn't he? Bunsen's and he has oh, so much anxiety. Because <laughs> <laughs> he has no eyes. <laughs> no, it's not right. <laughs> the chin, Ooh. the weird claws. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. No. I'm coming to visit your dreams. Is that what tonight? he sounds like? <laughs> I think Fuzzy Bear doesn't look creepy as No, he just looks like a bear. Uh, I don't know. That. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a Kermit Zipper Charm there too. Hooray. Yay. So if you're into the Muppets, uh, get this bag. We also have this Dumbledore cosplay backpack. Oh, that could have oh, been anything to I, me. Was, I, <laughs> yeah, it's I Dumbledore. Was, oh, I was, no, like, I was trying to think of a Disney yeah, princess. 100%. I'm like, Professor. Oh, is it Rapunzel? Who yeah, I was thinking Kong? Rapunzel. Yeah. Didn't look at the fingers. What kind of hat is yeah, that? Yeah, i got the Phoenix zipper charm. Like He's even got his yeah. like little tassel on his hat. Yeah. That's a nice little detail. See, so it was shiny. this bit. He was this bit. Could have been anyone. It's Dumbledore. Yeah, guys. It looks very pretty. Anyway, it does look. And look, it's got his glasses on the back and a nice little quote too. Oh, dark times. Like dark times. Like <laughs> Sorry, just everyone, just reading this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it says, "Dark times lie ahead of us, and there will be a time where we must choose between what is easy and what is right." So that is one of Dumbledore's yeah, most famous not, lines. Easy one of his not wisdoms. helping yeah, Harry yeah, yeah. get all the Horcruxes. Dumbledore <laughs> wisdoms. Yay! Hard very, drinking very a bottle cool. of water. <laughs> Rogue. We have a rogue backpack that I forgot to pick up when I was doing superheroes, but yay, rogue. <laughs> uh, we also have Gambit as well. So, you know, if you want oh, to pair it with Sherry. someone you're into or <laughs> just someone you like or whatever, you can you can both have your little yep. matching backpacks. Cute. Yeah, very cute. Um, so it's got a little rogue zipper charm as well, the X-Men logo, and yeah, pretty cool. It's nice, very 90s. Yeah, yeah, it was very like classic yes. comic animated rogue. animated series. Mm. Yeah, and same with the Gambit as well. It's just like spot on, like really really cool. Next up, we have another light up backpack. This is really cool. This is Darth Vader and the Death Star. Light and if up. we open, he doesn't this speak up, like that. Right. <laughs> so oh. his lightsaber uh, lights up. Nice. Well, you're, not, you're doing it the wrong way around. Is it? Ooh. Ooh. I'm not liking the action that you were doing, but that's okay. <laughs> 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 it, it was on camera. It was on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love uh, for everyone at home to see what he was doing, <laughs> but we can't. Anyway. Uh, we get taken off YouTube. Mm. Oh, Smash. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Darth Vader yeah, looks pretty Darth cool. Yeah, Darth Vader. It was very cool. Imperial Cruises. And we've also got, you underestimate the power of the dark side in a little back hit here with some Brodo Um, Kenny, it's like he's in the room. <laughs> Next up, frozen backpacks. Here's one of them. Uh, so this is um, a let it go themed backpack. This is really, really cool. We've got kind of like iridescent details going on. Got Elsa just like, you know, slaying it to borrow a phrase from Jess. <laughs> Being amazing, um, we've got debossing to kind of bring out the trees and everything, and we've got a snowflake zipper charm as well. And I'm really liking, um, they've got like a kind of gradient effect going on on the faux leather. Man, gradient is a word I haven't heard since paint application. We <laughs> literally use it constantly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you gradient talking about? Gradient is a great word. Um, and we've got Olaf on the back here too. <laughs> That's a cute little touch. Uh, yeah, Olaf. a little Olaf, good little Olaf. bag. We also, have, <laughs> we also have this Elsa and Bruni backpack from Frozen 2. Um, oh, that's is, right. They made a second one. Yeah, they mm, did. Didn't see that one. I, I watched it, either, but I don't actually. remember it well. Anyway, we've got like um, <laughs> mm, <laughs> silver shining can, stars and it's snowflakes fine. here. Um, we've got applique kind of bringing out this cute little scene here, some debossing in Elsa's hair, and just a lovely wintry, snowy scene. Is, is that is pretty is cool. Frozen 2 the backstory of Rapunzel's, uh, not Rapunzel's, uh, the uh, nah, past? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, Bree's on the back again, being cute with some snowflakes. Yay. No, it looks like the green chameleon from the other Disney film. Uh, yeah. Pascal. Oh, Pascal, right, yeah. Okay. yeah. There we go. It's not, it's pretty. <laughs> Landed that punch right on. <laughs> wow. Yay. We also have um, this Kristoff and Sven backpack. Uh, this is really cool. Um, 
of obviously um, Sven's antlers kind of like rise Antis above the back. roll with it. Antis. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a little carrot zipper charm there, which is a cool detail. Oh, I like the like falling Excuse leaves. Excuse me? A carrot? Yeah. <laughs> it's mm. a carrot. Mm. Where's the green bit? I they don't know, Sandy. Yeah. I don't know. It's a slayer if I've ever seen one. <laughs> <laughs> and we've also got a little back hit here going, reindeers are better than people. Reindeers are better than people. <laughs> Classic Vader yeah. quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> textbook. I mean, why not? <laughs> All right, more Disney. We have this really cool Hercules, like, clouds backpack. This is neat. Like, I'm loving all the colours. This is another yeah, it's gradient. Growing, it's good, good gradient. <laughs> I like that. Uh, we've got um, the bossing. Deco. Look at that art deco there. It Andy, is good, right? That couldn't be further. <laughs> <laughs> it is good. Actually, and we've got no, Hercules right. yeah. logo. Thank has you. a zipper charm, too, which is very Zeus? cool. Zeus? Yeah. yeah. Dog. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Zeus says to literally every single person. <laughs> <laughs> Danny DeVito. And we've got the muses on the back as well, and we've got these shiny straps going on. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah. That, that was my little secret. note. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty cool bag. I love how colourful it is. Very shiny. Nice. Mm. Very, like very cool. We also have this Nido Pocahontas Stories bag. Now we've got quite a few mm. in this range on the website. So if you just look up like Loungefly Stories, it'll bring up all the ones that we've got. We showed off Cinderella last time. And now we've got Pocahontas. Man, I love Miko. Miko is good. And we've got Flit as well. Flitting about. Why can't I have a pet raccoon? I would love a pet um, raccoon. Move to America <clears throat> and then just grab one. Mm, yeah. They, just, just have a trash can. Yeah. And then you've got pet raccoons. Mm, they'll come to you. Yeah. yeah. I watch Ooh. videos of some guy who like feeds many raccoons. It's the greatest oh. thing. Oh, they're the ones come that come, come to the window? Little, yeah, and yeah, they come yeah. up with their little hands oh. and they're eating grapes oh, and balls yes. and things. It's adorable. Oh, yes. love How it. does it feel Stop. to be living my dream? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, back to Pocahontas on that note. Um, so what's cool about this story series is um, generally there's like a scene on the front pocket here with some like really lovely kind I of applique. I like this um, the like how it's got the windows. Pass move yeah. on. Sorry, <laughs> the cut, the cutaway. The cut, yeah, it's, it's, sure. It's uh, yeah. Cut what do they call things. that? Yeah. <laughs> die cut. Die cut. Mm. Yeah, die cut. We've got a compass zipper charm as well, and we've got some really pretty embroidery and sequins and stuff up here too. And each bag also has a quote on the back in shiny gold foil. So I follow my own path. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Shame about the colonialism. Jeez. All right, we also have this um, uh, this Miguel and Pepita yeah. bag. Could have been oh. anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Coco. Um, so this is really cool. This is kind of bringing to life one of the yes. um, scenes towards the end of the film. Oh, and God, yes, they do move. So you can bring them back it. in mm. or pull them out, which is really, really cool. Got the um, Land of the Dead in the background, the marigolds <laughs> making up the bridge and everything, which is really cool. And got a little, little, little zipper charm here too. And I'm loving the detailing on the pockets as well. That is very cool. But yeah. A pizza. <laughs> Yay. Next up we have this cute and very elegant looking crossbody um, mm. from Cinderella that Could has Jack Jack and Gus Gus <laughs> in a teacup. Cute. <laughs> Which is super cute. And we've got a little um, turn clasp here. And when you open it up, <laughs> Gus Gus is trying really hard to keep all these little bits of oh, corn. Oh, no, I want cheese. Is it corn? What? I think it's cheese. Corn. It's corn. That's yeah. not corn. Yeah. It is. It's like little corn kernels. Corn doesn't come in wedges. It does and in the 50s when they're drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Where are people getting wedge corn? I don't know. I don't know. That's she what feed, Cinderella feeds the chickens. Yeah, she feeds something to the chickens, and I always assumed it was. Yeah. Food. That's a food, and then Gus gets food truck thought if I've ever had one. <laughs> wedges of corn. Oh, those are definitely not kernels. Interesting. And we have a matching um, card holder for that as well. Nice. Which is pretty cool. Nice and shiny. A little stylish touch. A little Disney even bag for you. Mm. Uh, last up we have 
Uh, this Minnie Mouse oil slick collection. Mm. This is really cool. This gives me <laughs> oil slick. Why is it called mm. that? This, because when mm. oil... Because that's yeah. what you get when you that's look at pattern. it. That's mm. what happens. Right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> 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 anyway, it's got this kind of like holographic <laughs> metallic effect. It is really, really cool. Mm. Gives me anxiety. <laughs> uh, just pick a colour. But it's for someone who can't pick a colour. Mm. So it's just like you get all the colours. I don't want um, a bag that doesn't understand what it is. <laughs> I'm sure many Let's, understand. Let's not respond to that, please. <laughs> yeah. Let's not dive into that. What's really cool about this, apart from the applique and everything, bringing out um, Minnie's ears and the bow and everything, there's like debossing details to bring out her face, mm. which is really cool. Just the subtle little touch there, and all the hardware and even. Um, the brand badge all has that um, holographic multicolor effect too. So it is just a plethora of colors. Like it is really, really cool. All yeah. the shinies. Ma yeah, Imagine very shiny. color being oil slick. <laughs> I do wish there was a better name than oil slick. Yeah. Make yeah, me think of like dead I don't know why they the <laughs> should have just gone with like iridescent. That, yeah. That would cover that. Surely. I think iridescent is more pastel. Mm. Dark iridescent. Okay. I don't know. Imagine, <laughs> imagine you're sitting there, first date, and you're like, you're just Wait, reeling hold on. off questions. Here we go. And you're like, mm, really liking this, good vibes. What's your favourite colour? Oil slick. <laughs> <laughs> red flag, red flag. <laughs> uh, I anyway, mean, true. I have loved true. it. It does look nice um, if you like oil. And so, uh, but, I mean, sure. <laughs> thank you, Bianca. That's good. Always love to see. Lounge fly. Lounge fly. Lounge fly. Shall Always we move back line? to action figures? Now? We shall. Uh, so it's time to deal oh my uh, God. with uh, some sweet Yu Gi Oh action figures. Uh, I feel like I've been waiting uh, way too long uh, to finally see some Yu Gi Oh action figures. Uh, we've got some awesome uh, dragons up there as well and monsters. Uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, so three. The three blue eyes uh, dragons form into one, kind of like a hydra. Uh, the winged dragon of Ra, um, and we're going to go down in this. Uh, so we've got Slifer, the sky dragon, uh, and then finally Obelisk, the tormentor. Yeah, Sorry, right, would yeah. you? <laughs> because those three you yeah, can I combine know. together. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we've got a classic blue eyes white dragon, so just one head there. Uh, and then above Exodia, the forbidden one. Uh, oh. Yeah. Why are they? <laughs> These why are, they are really them? awesome uh, because they're limited edition, so each one of them oh. has a unique number on there. Uh, yeah. They also include an exclusive trading card as well. It's a pretty shiny um, ass yeah. oil slick sticker, too. Yeah. <laughs> These are really awesome. I really like these. Uh, it's only series one, uh, and we've all uh, got the main characters down the bottom: Joey Wheeler, Seto Kaiba, and Yami Yugi. Uh, each with their dual God. discs. <laughs> I really like. I th I think these are awesome. Oh, we left off the dual disc. There's. We actually just got in. Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Where? Um, I think it's out in the warehouse. Yes. But, yeah. So you got a lot of life yeah, size. Yeah, fan blade. Oh, yeah. I yeah. didn't realise that. Cheese TV, yeah, yeah. everything. Oh, oh my cheese God, cheese TV. TV. Cheese TV. Um, but, yes, we've got an actual yes. dual disc. We'll all be wearing um, them next yeah. live. Uh, but, yeah, these are really awesome. I really uh, was excited when uh, I first saw these. and I have to get them, and we've got them. Uh, some Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Black Ranger, uh, the OG uh, Dino Thunder Yellow Ranger, and then uh, Lost Galaxy Green Ranger. Uh, just great additions to the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Uh, from U2s, we've landed uh, some awesome uh, new figures. Stranger Things, yes. we've got Eleven, Vecna, Hopper, Dustin and the Demogorgon. Wow, that is oh, sweet yeah. flamethrower action. I'm into that. Yeah, uh, if, guys, if you haven't checked out U2s, uh, they're great designer toys that we uh, have started getting in and we're just going to keep getting them in. We really like them here at Pop Culture and uh, we think that you guys, uh, you know, it, it, you guys should as well. Yeah, um, yeah they cover heaps of different licenses and stuff like that too. Um, really, really well made too. Great at paint mm. application. Just great figures. Yeah. And like cool references as well that might not otherwise get like a collectible yeah, figure made of them, yeah. which is really cool. So they cool. dive right into like meme culture and everything Absolutely. too, right? 
Like uh, Cheese and Kenny. My favourite uh, range that you twos do is South Park. Uh, and we've got a whole uh, plethora of uh, South Park uh, U2s. You've got Cheese and Kenny, Kenny on the toilet, uh, Farmer Randy uh, <laughs> yes. over here with Towley there, uh, Good Times with Weapons, you've got the gang, Good episode. you've got Cartman, uh, Kenny, Kyle and Stan. Uh, and what I actually really love about these is um, they have quotes on the back uh, of each of it. Um, oh. So this one uh, has a great quote there uh, from Kenny. Um, and, uh, yeah, I really like this. There's yeah, heaps coming out. There's heaps more coming out. Uh, I will, I've already got a couple. I got that Farmer Randy the other day. I'll be needing to get those good times with weapons, uh, gang, because uh, it's one of my favourite episodes, South Park. Mm. It's so good. Um, we've got a couple uh, more smaller things, and then we'll dive into uh, the larger stuff. Mario Kart Hot Wheels. Uh, so finally you get to actually uh, take a Mario Kart 164th scale uh, die-cast vehicle that you would play uh, in the actual game with. So you've got Peach, Luigi, mm. Donkey Kong, uh, Yoshi, uh, Toad, uh, Koopa Trooper, and Diddy Kong, and then you've got a Mario from Super Mario Bros. movie. The question is... Oh, I knew this was coming. <laughs> I, I pre-warned you because I didn't want you guys feeling, feeling stage fright. Which character do you choose in Mario Kart? doesn't just have to be the ones here because there are more and Mattel do make um, all the characters. But which one are you, Blake? Oh, God. <laughs> um, I forewarned everyone but you. <laughs> um, in the most recent ones, I go with Link, which is mm. maybe a bit of a hot take. Mm. But I'm also a bit of a peach girly. Yeah. Ah. So, yeah. Yeah. All about that nice. peach. Yep. Bianca. Next one. <laughs> um, same as you, Blake. So, like modern Mario Kart, I definitely go for Link. I mean, that's one of my favorite franchises ever. But classically, I do love to pick Luigi, and I love that um, he's been given a real like side eye and a lot of attitude in the more mm. recent games. I'm like, yes, now he's even better. Lucas. Uh, yeah, Peach all the way. Yes. Every time. Oh, you guys. Honestly. Basic. <laughs> Donkey Kong. <Yeah. laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah, really awesome. I love these uh, figures and they will go great uh, as a, a small little gift um, in any kind of um, birthday occasion. Uh, just just let that, that special one know that you care. With yeah. that like 84-year-old grandma. Yeah, special one. Mm. Yeah, I made it inclusive, Blake. Nice. You just weren't listening. Maybe she would like. Uh, she's a donkey. Yoshi? She's a Donkey Kong girl. If I, ever seen her. <laughs> I think that would confuse and scare yeah. her. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Uh, we've got some awesome statues. Uh, the books. Oh yeah, we can do books. Fine. There's, there's only four of them. I feel like. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fine. Uh, we've got uh, an awesome Star Wars. Uh, kind of quote book or uh, self-help book, we might even say. From the uh, villain? Be more <laughs> Vader. Assertive thinking from the dark side. Oh, I like um, that title. Yeah. So there's all these different uh, kind of scenarios uh, that are kind of in a funny kind of way, uh, but also um, yeah, insightful to the character and also things that you can take out of the films. Having um, a problem with someone at your workplace? Maybe consider genocide. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, correct. <laughs> the ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the force. Um, this bickering is pointless. Man, I could control the conversation. That's, that's <laughs> something we all need to learn. Uh, refine, negotiate. Anyway, it goes on. But there's some great things. There's a full range of them, all different Star Wars characters. There's all different Marvel characters, DC characters. They're really awesome. Another great gift idea. Very, very cool. <laughs> We've also got some little golden books that are based around Funko Pop vinyls. Do they make Yay. Jaws cute for yes. kids? <laughs> <laughs> what Whoa. does this book even show? It's a, it's book, a book of, of opposites. opposites. Oh, oh I can read. <laughs> <laughs> so the little boy doesn't die? No, he gets an extra arm. <laughs> but yeah, this, this is pretty cool. Some really oh, nice is. Funko <laughs> art. It's all like watercolour and stuff like that. Cute. Yeah, it's adorable. And we also have Back to the Future. But Funko Pops. 
Yay! Yeah. Back to the future. It almost seems a shame to open these. Nah, it's stiff. all right. You can just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, yay! Does this show when his mum is almost... Um, <laughs> he's sleeping <laughs> he's <laughs> <sleeping> almost. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, interesting, interesting choices. Oh, no. Oh. We also have um, the Spider-Man Double Trouble comic. Now, this is really cool. In this, um, uh, Spider-Man and Venom are actually like roommates <laughs> for some reason. I don't know the whole story behind that. I've seen Spider-Gwen in some of these um, well, comics in the series as everyone, well. Right? Um, <laughs> what did you say, sir? No. <clears throat> Uh, it, <laughs> comic, yay! Yeah. Woo. Very, very good. Cool. Alright, Blake, anything else before I can talk about this? <gasps> we did a lounge fly, Mario Kart, books, figures, figures, Funko. I think we're good. Oh, sweet, thank you. Uh, some <laughs> awesome statues. We'll start off with the biggest one here. It's Wonder Woman, one third scale, uh, designed by Stanley Art Germ Lau, or based off of some of his art. This one's made by Prime One Studios. It's one third scale. Uh, meaning that there is all the size and scale and uh, the ability to show off the character and the beautiful artwork. Uh, the detail on all the Prime One pieces is second to none and incredible. The hair, the detail in that as well. The face is really nice. Yeah, yeah little, I was having a close-up um, look at that before and I noticed they've sculpted even the eyelashes. Yeah, which is really interesting. From afar, like, you have to almost look at... Uh, you almost oh. think that it's a bit of mixed media in there, but it's not. It's actually all sculpted. Uh, really hard to see on camera, and it really doesn't translate um, properly between the, obviously seeing it on a video versus being in person. You'll be able to check it out in person at our collector ga gallery mm. very soon. Poseable uh, cape? It is. It's a mixed media piece, so you can pose Ooh. it without the cape. Um, you just need to take off the head and it's a little bit of a process, but uh, you can do it. I almost like it without the cape. You can see a lot more detail uh, on the piece, especially on the, uh, the back of the statue because the lot's missed uh, in terms of the back of the boots. What's on the back? What's, what are you hiding? No, nothing. It's just you get to see <laughs> Danny, more of what are you up to? You get to see more of the Ooh, costume. Ooh, look at those boots. Yeah. Ooh, Damn. Sweet kicks. They are pretty sweet yeah. kicks. So yeah, um, yeah, and okay. it just exactly. Look, there's Damn. a lot of things that just pop uh, without the kind of cape because it kind of covers it up, or your eyes go straight towards that <laughs> satiny uh, sheen of the cape. Um, straight to the cape. Yeah, straight to the cape. <laughs> Nothing but cape. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, this is an awesome piece. I really, really like it, and. Uh, We'll move on to other other pieces. Otherwise, what I'm were you going to say? I'm really curious. What were you going to no, say? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, we have uh, from one of the best Star Wars films of all time, uh, Star Wars Episode Nine: Rise of Skywalker. Kylo Ren, uh, nice likeness of Adam Driver there. The uh, snoz on this man. Yeah. Oh, he looks real tired. He's good. Reed Reed Richards uh, coming at you. Um, this comes with two different portraits: a mask portrait. Uh, the, the Kylo Ren look. Uh, the waves on this piece are really awesome. Um, and I think they're just getting better and better with these water-like effects. Mm. Uh, the translucency Foamy. and the foam on the top there. The base is really awesome. It is a mixed media piece. Again, with a posable cape. Yes. Um, if you wanted to, you could go nice and... Oh, here we go. Yeah. Brooding. He physically cannot see. <laughs> he's, like, he's got his head out. Help me! Show me the way! I can't see! It's an interesting kind of hand. He's kind of, uh, there is a companion piece to Ray. He's kind of, uh -huh. kind of, yeah. What's the deal? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. When I saw the hand, it's kind of like he's doing a bit of stand up. Kind of. Oh. Uh, What's the deal? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Anyway, there is an awesome lightsaber effect as well, kind of. Uh, it doesn't light up, however, it gives that effect as if it were lit. Um, if you did light it. 
Yeah. Looks veiny. Uh, yes, oh. well, you don't want to oh, go into that. Uh, <laughs> veiny saber. Two more pieces, Blake, two more pieces. <laughs> Uh, we've got this awesome cra- the Kraken from Harry Hausen's uh, oh. line of monsters from Star Race. This is a bust, uh, the first I believe in one of their bust series. Which who's breathing heavily and huskily into the mic? Yeah, probably me. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been me cleaning this lounge fly bag. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, it was probably me just breathing well. in between. <laughs> this. <laughs> it's nothing like that. Oh. Is that Clash is that uh, Clash of the Titans? I actually don't know. I've never seen it. I think it might be. But this is really awesome. The detail, it is um, poly resin. Um, it's so cool. It's got this kind of mossy effect. Um, on Are those nipples or mollusks? They're nipples. <laughs> that from mollusks. Uh, <laughs> don't please. Look, uh, just the is, it's very knobbly, isn't it? The, the whole thing. It's the detail real... on it. This little beak. Oh, it's cool. I love like the sweet kind of like I don't know what you call that like fungal. Yeah, chops. that's what I was talking about. <laughs> these mutton mm. chop. Yeah. Like, um, or these. Yeah, or finny like yeah. you know. It's it's kind of like corally. Mm, it is. He's cool. uh, I actually really like the base as well with this sweet Art Deco. Uh, going on down there, and got a nice, <laughs> got a nice, oh. nice little plaque. We've got some words there, um, which words. is good. Yeah. And, a, and, a, and a signature from Ray Harry Harry. Probably tells you, is it? Is it? Clash of the, yeah, sorry, Clash of the Titans. There we go. <laughs> uh, the last thing to talk about today is a Captain America one six scale uh, statue uh, from Premium Collectibles Studios. Uh, you got Captain America there fighting off. Uh, Ultron uh, or Ultron centuries. A lot of different remnants of him just busting through, smashing uh, Ultrons uh, left, right, and center. <laughs> uh, a lot of explosions, a lot, uh, lot to pack in it into a one six scale statue, but nice and compact, meaning that you can uh, collect more uh, without the, uh, the space. What's hanging off for a shield? Sorry? Uh, um, it's just a, a Ultron century, it's... one of the baddies. The bits, bits and pieces. Very that cool. has rounded out all we have to show you this week. Uh, and now we will get to some prizes. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Pr- what pr- are we going to spin for first? Pr- 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 oh, I don't need to do that. I've got a sound effect for that. Good. Pr- 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 prizes. <laughs> What are we doing first? What are we doing first? Uh, Aussie. 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 All right, Aussie it is. Spinning for Aussie. Spin. <laughs> It makes the sound too, I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> Who we got? Who we got? James Grossman. Congratulations, James. You have won this awesome Aussie Osborne pop. Um, please send us a DM on Facebook with your name and postal information, and we'll get it sent out to you next week. Uh, we are spinning next for the Mirabelle cosplay backpack with the tassels. Yay! Now, if it does land on two names twice, then sorry, we've got to spin again. No double downsies. No, no, no. Everybody gets a fair chance to win. Who's it going to be? It is... Jenna Price. Jenna, Jenna Price. Price. Congrats, Good. Jenna. Send us a private message on Facebook with your name and your personal information and we'll get it sent out to you ASAP. Woohoo! Mystery <laughs> Prize. Mystery Prize. What's Mystery Prize. Be? We've got a Demogorgon Ooh. U2's Ooh. figure. Um, again, we're going to give one of these away so as one of you lucky folk, folks, uh, get to check out the quality and the awesomeness of this product uh, and try and get you hooked onto these sweet, sweet u two's figures. Uh, spin away. All right, let's get you addicted. <laughs> Who's got it? Karina Fong? Fong? I'm so Fong? sorry, Karina, if that was wrong. <laughs> but you won! Yay! <laughs> So please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your postal information, and we'll get that sent out to you ASAP. 
New prize. We've got Another one prize. Australian short film for one last. What is it? Uh, oh! Yes. oh. Peaches. Yes. Peaches. The, uh, probably the favourite product of the show uh, by us. Uh, we have a hey, peach uh, 164th scale diecast Hot Wheels figure. Um, and uh, we'll be uh, spinning that uh, wheel. You sure it's not the uh, Bespin Guard? Ooh, the Bespin Guard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's spin the wheel. Woo! Woo! That's, that that's quite a spin. That's a good spin. We're hyped up for this Thank product. You. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and the winner is Doug Horner. Doug Horner. Yay, congrats, Doug. Please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your postal information. We'll get that sent out some point Ooh. next week. Woo! Thank you so much for joining us, guys. It's been another week in review. Um, I'm Bianca. That's Sandy. We've got Luke and we've got Blake behind the camera. Yay! Thanks so much for tuning in and we will see you guys at the next one. See ya! Have a good weekend! Bye! Bye!